Hi. So today you look at the PAP paper from 2009 going through question 8. Okay, so question 8 asks to sketch the curve y equals 1 minus 2 sine squared x for x less pi le greater than minus pi. And it's a very easy trick for this problem that will solve, simplify the question massively. And that's knowing your trigonometric identities. Because if you know your trigonometric identities, you will know that 1 minus 2 sine squared of x is in fact equal to cosine of 2x. So in fact, what the question is asking us is to sketch the curve of y equals cos 2x. So let's do that. So we'll do to find our starting points by subbing in x is minus pi and x is pi. So x is minus pi, put that here, and x is pi. So at x is pi, we get y is cosine of 2 pi. We know cosine of 2 pi is 1, so that's going to be at 1. At x is minus pi, it's cosine of minus 2 pi, which again we know is 1. And then, well, cosine of 0 is again 1. And we know what shape this is going to be. We know it's going to be your normal cosine curve. So we have, but because we have a 2, a factor of 2 in here, we know the period is in fact going to half. So it's going to go through one cycle in a period of pi as opposed to a period of 2 pi. So we can simply now sketch that one. So we know it's going to start at 1, come down, oh, so it's going to be at minus pi 1. It's going to come down to a minus 1 value down here. So to go down like this, strike 0, half a minus 1, come back up. Go down again, half a minus 1, and come back up. So that will be our curve. But we'll just label on to make it clear. So we have down here, imagining that these two Let's see if we can get that a bit nicer. So you would have, in fact, this kitting this line here and then coming up. So that's equal to y is minus 1. And then up here, you have y is 1. And then we said the period was pi. So we're going to have this being at pi by 2 and this at minus pi by 2. So that's the full sketch.